Hey everyone, Silencia here once again. I'm doing the Kamen Rider Wizard figure review, and this time round I've got the Unicorn. Yeah, so like the Garuda, it has a similar kind of design for the box, entirely blue this time round, uh, with the exact kind of details the Garuda box has. Only thing different this time round is the back, which shows. Um, information of the unicorn and a combination detail of the unicorn with the Garuda wings to uh, form the Pegasus uh, uh, summon so yeah uh, apparently we haven't seen this in the show yet and as usual the uh, ring works with the belt the gun blade and the arcade system which as usual it's a very good thing uh, for uh, merchandise such as this as it will feel like the customer has a lot more worth of value compared to just the figuring itself with the uh, replica kind of feel so yeah <clears throat> let's take a look at the unicorn ring first uh, you can see there is the unicorn uh, shape uh, embedded into the ring and yeah, as usual, it is the DX style uh, ring holder, or rather the finger ring. So it can only fit my pinky, yeah, and it won't go into my other fingers. And here we have the um, summoning, well, plate, or I'm not sure what do they call it. Uh, yeah, the figure on its platform or magic platform before it is assembled mm -hmm. so as you can see the pieces fit very nicely like the Garuda's and as usual a very well done job by Bandai designing the figures to replicate the exact um, copy of the series model so let's assemble this uh, and take a look at what the unicorn will look like completed so we've got the torso, uh, pretty huge compared to the Garuda's and it's kind of disappointing to actually see the holes where the screws are uh, and this time around there are actually more holes for the Garuda wing to be placed. So I think that's the only thing that really sets this figure back compared to the Garuda. Um, the pieces do snap in quite easily like the Garuda series the hind legs yeah and the front legs and of course the head all right so here we have the unicorn um and it fits into my palm just like the TV series very very well done uh, only thing like I said it's quite saddening to see the screws in the figure you know so unlike the Garuda you don't really see that many of the holes and of course the DX ring fits nicely as usual into the torso of the unicorn and yeah it doesn't come off easily so yeah Joints movable as usual, like the Garuda, and this time round, like unlike the Garuda, they have uh, spring action wings. The Unicorn has a well a button to press on its mane to move its horn. Very cute, yeah. So basically, it's this part of the mane, and you push it to move the horn. Yeah, so that's about it for the Unicorn. It's fairly simple and, well, I have to say it is a uh, pretty colour. Well, blue being one of my favourites. And it, uh, it's quite cute in a way that it actually fits into my palm. <laughs> so yeah, uh, until then, I will see you guys really soon. And I yeah, I will definitely get down to the Gunblade review uh, next since I've pretty much nothing else left with the Kamen Rider series until I get the belt. 
So, yeah, see you guys then. Uh, bye.